Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GSP with Mahesh. Today, what we'll do is based on our previous videos which we have seen, for example, the video on uh, GCR, Google Container Registry, how it works, how to make it public, and based on the yesterday's video which we saw, how we can provide access at a bucket level and at an object level. Let's try to use those videos in a real time scenario so that we'll have a better understanding. So that's what we are going to do today. So the scenario is I have a Docker image in this project, learn GCP with Mahesh. And the complete URL of that is gcr.io learn GCP with Mahesh. And the app name is my hyphen app, which is version 1.0. This container image, I want to use it in another project called as production. I already have a GC uh, GK instance running. So let's try to use it. So let's see how our learnings will be helpful to achieve this scenario. So very simple go to workloads. Let's try to deploy this workload the my iPhone app and see whether it will be able to push like whether we will be able to pull that image or not. And currently the visibility is private. So that's the background. So let's click on deploy. So let's give the, the path which I've already copied. So should be very simple. Click on done and continue. Let's give a name to this. Uh, my hyphen app should be all good. Let's leave it all as default and let's try to deploy it. So the deployment is happening. Let's see what happens. So we are getting an error in the deployment and the error is image pull back off error. So meaning the image is not available. So that is a problem. Now, based on our previous understanding, uh, some of you can easily say that just go to the setting, make it private instead of private, make it public. So that is one option. That is something which we have seen and definitely this will work because you are making it a uh, public image. So that is one option. You can give that as a try. That's what I would say. Another better option instead of making it as uh, public, what we can do is we can go to this project, go to IM and uh, admin. And in this, we know Kubernetes behind the scene uses compute engine and compute engine uses uh, service account. What we can do is based on the learnings which we learned yesterday. So what we can do is give the service account of production compute engine, compute engine's uh, service account, give a view option, object viewer option so that the image can be pulled easily. So that's what we are going to do. So for that, go to your production, get the compute engine, default compute engine ID, copy this, then we know in learn GCP with Mahesh project, whenever you create a GCR, it creates a storage. That's what we have seen. And what you can do is click on show info, select this, and you can just add a member. The member is the production projects default service account. So just add this and give that service account object viewer so that it can just pull the thing. So read only access. So let's click save. The policy is updated to verify it. Just scroll down and you should see the production projects uh, service account has been given object viewer access. All good. So now what we can do is we can go back uh, and do a edit and see whether we can, whether everything is fine. Okay, looks fine. Let's click on save. Let's give one more time a try. So this time the app is deployed successfully to just double check it. Just click on edit. And we are in production project and look at the image. So this is coming from a different project. So, so that's how the learnings which we saw in our previous video, we have made it uh, work in a real world scenario. This is something which will definitely happen. You have an image in a non-production environment and you want to use the exact image in production. In such case, you can use this option of exposing or adding the service account, the compute service account, object view access storage object view access in the non-production environments, GCR environment, 
and you should be able to easily pull that image. So that's the information which I wanted to share today. Hope the information was useful. Please let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video on a specific GCP concept. I'm happy to do that. Thanks for watching.